here with uh, Andres Suar, naval architect and the design team of Luna Rosa. Can you, uh, first first of all, you were on board. Can you talk us how the day went on, out on the water? Yeah, I was on board, but I was on the, on the chase boat. The day went pretty well. It was blowing from anything from 12 to 20 knots. Uh, we did some long runs, mostly straight line, no, no buoys today. And it, it went okay, relatively flat, so, so we learned a bit of the boat. So were you focusing on something specific? specific? We were looking today mostly foils, different settings on the foils. And can you give us a little insight about your task in, within the design team? Well, being a naval architect, I work mostly with the hull lines. So, so anything that goes under and over the water, hopefully mostly over the water. Uh, so I take care of the hydrodynamics and aerodynamics of the hull. And an overall view of the boat to, to check how everything fits inside this hull. Thing. And considering that your last design of last campaign, I mean, there's certainly some good changes. And uh, can you talk about how the procedure went for these different hull lines? Well, basically, you know, you, you learn quite a bit from the last time. So you, you already start with something that is a, a step forward to what you did last time. And then the conditions are completely different. So. So basically what you test or, or what you, you, you let as, as something not that important change quite a bit. So, so I guess we will see differences this time around. And considering the sea state in Barcelona, uh, how do you account for it within the design of the hull? We're probably looking at a touch and go. I guess flying higher is not certainly a solution. Uh, how does that affect your design? Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. So, so basically, in your design process, you give quite a bit more weight to any event that, that is related to any crash or hull touching, call it in a way. So you need to, to take that into account and also how the boat will behave once it's the, the, the chances of, of dropping on a pre-start and things like that. You need for sure to take that into account. And, and will be a big difference and, and also the interaction with the foils will be quite different. How strong is that interaction? It's relatively strong because the way you fly the, the foils and the way you fly the hull will, will change quite a bit your decisions.